What's up, guys? I'm Kayla, and I'm here with Sasha Lane from the new movie American Honey. Welcome to Boston. And I think the best part for me when I was watching the movie was knowing that you were not an actress before this. How did you get involved? Um, it's yeah, spring break last year. <laughs> um, Andrea actually just ended up coming to me on the beach, and um, from there she came to my hotel room that night. From there, I ended up staying a week longer, and we just had a lot of conversations. I did a little bit of improv, and by the end of that week, she told me that she wanted me to do it. Um, it was something about it. I would have been terrified any other way, and I obviously was scared and a little nervous, but she's just so trusting, and, she, you know, she made it... Uh, she made it known that she chose you for a reason, of, like, who you are, and this is what I want, and this is why you are here, so... You were just kind of like, okay, cool. It's It was a nice feeling, and it was a really nervous feeling, but it was good. Was she like, hey, you want to be in my movie? And you're like, who are you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, she told me she told me that she's a director and that, you know, she makes movies and she's making one, and she's been, you know, looking for the last person, and she's just kind of like, um, okay, cool. Like, have a good day. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. And the last person ended up being basically the star of the entire movie, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, that was probably like the most bizarre thing you're like no it's been this long this is the last person and it's all about that like okay um but she had such a good energy and there was there's something about her that you're just like you wanted to listen you know like it if you felt like you could listen to her like she, it wasn't like some scam type thing right, totally. yeah i felt like the movie was almost felt oh like a documentary mm -hmm. raw and real um, and a lot of the cast were also not actors. Yeah. What was it like being on set and working with people who, I mean, you all have never been on set before working on a movie. Yeah. Right. Um, it could be really difficult at times um, as far as, like, that person might not want to wake up today. Like, you know, they don't feel like sitting in the van or they don't feel like doing this. Um, but it was also cool because we had real conversations with each other. We just hung out. We were all not really aware of how you look on camera and how is it coming across and can I see this and can I look at that? You're just like, okay, well, it's Tuesday and I'm going to eat this donut and put a burger in the thing and just talk to you because I don't know any other way. So it was, it was really cool and I think that's obviously the beauty of it. And, but it definitely could be difficult at times when you're just like, I just need that one shot. Like, can you just hold on for an hour so I can go home too? Yeah. Definitely. And so I heard that none of you had read the script beforehand. So, I mean, I can't imagine going into a movie and being like, okay, I have no script. How, what was that process like? Uh, it was like life. It was the fact that you don't know what tomorrow is. Um, it was this feeling of what is going to happen. So you're kind of excited. You're also really nervous because, and you're also really frustrated. It's like, I want to know more. You know, it's, you want to know more always. Everyone has that feeling, but it lets you get rid of that. It lets you just be in the moment, which was obviously so perfect for it. That's what she wanted was in that moment, but it could be frustrating. And it was also really cool to just wake up and be like, ah, this is what's happening today. Right. All right. It's like not too much practice. I feel like it's like an actor, like they always prepare and prepare and they, I feel like it may make it a little bit easier that way. Yeah. You, you just, um, yeah. Cause it's, you don't get to prepare. You don't have time to prepare and you just, she creates such a world for you that you just, you start to become in it. You just start to walk the steps that she would want you to walk, you know? And, uh, I guess it was easier. It's sometimes I think it could be harder for someone who is trained that way. But for me, I don't know any other way. So I'm just like, all right, well, I guess this is what today is bringing me. So how are we going to go about it? You know, how do I put my mood in that? And how about the locations? Were they all real? You're with real people. Like, what was that? You were driving around in the van? Like uh, Everything was real. Like every motel that we stayed in in there, either we were at that motel, we were the one across the street getting bed bugs. We were in that van packed together with the dog with the sugar glider you know um the people yeah she would we'd go into town and they'd send them out a little earlier and just find different people like my siblings they were they were just two kids on the street with their mom and everyone it so it, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work but it was a good it was real yeah and how does it feel now that I mean you're doing press junkets you probably have movie premieres like before this you were in school or finishing up school. Um, 
it must feel like a little bit surreal. It's really surreal. I still, it's hard to wrap my mind around it. I still didn't believe that we had made a movie till I saw a trailer. And even doing this, it's, and to be honest, it's kind of terrifying and it's kind of scary because I'm not used to it. I'm actually really uncomfortable and anxious, so I get really nervous. Um, but it's also, it's cool because I'm finding like, I can do this my own way. I can be who I am. I can find ways to maneuver around it. And I think that's kind of the purpose of why I'm here and why this is all happening. So we get like a breath of fresh air from it, you know? So yeah, it's, I never thought I'd travel in life ever especially not for work. So this is really cool just to be in Boston today, you know? It's kind of just like proving, it's like you're almost like your character, proving that like a dream could come real, you know? Yeah, anything could happen. You just, you don't have to be what that was. You could, anything can happen. Just now my, now my box is opened and there's opportunities and you're just like, whoa, we can reach real high now, Sasha. <laughs> I love it. And so are you auditioning for things now or now you're like kind of have the acting bug? Yeah, um, I mean, like, I just did a short, and we've been auditioning, going to meetings. Right now, I'm just kind of in this. It's very, so much American Honey right now. Um, but it's been cool to, like, think of what I can do next. It's a little scary, but, um, yeah, I like it. And before you got in here, we were all talking. We are like, I can't imagine this movie without, like, with a, someone who's super well-known in the lead. I feel like it wouldn't have been as enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Same with the entire cast. It just felt so real. Um, so I feel like you have a lot of things ahead for you and we're super excited. Um, so I hope everyone checks out American Honey in theaters this week. Yeah. Um, and thanks so much for being in Boston. I hope you can come back again soon so I we know. can like, Actually, uh, do. yeah, 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 yeah totally for yeah. sure. Scared? Bang. <laughs>